Hello, everyone. We celebrate Friday of the fifth week of Easter. Our Masses this week are going to be offered for part of our Mother's Day Novena. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that being rightly conformed to the Paschal Mysteries, what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with perpetual power. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Presbyters, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their your peace of mind, we have one accord decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have dedicated the Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey the same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond those necessities, namely to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep doing what is right, farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will await the dawn. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy, your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Above all the earth, be your glory. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O God. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. I call you my friend, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment, love one another 
as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I've told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give you. This is my command. Love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. We may believe that we know an awful lot about love from the very time we are aware of those around us. We receive and are able to give love. All of us as a human person needs to love and to be loved. It is just part of our nature, whether it's close family or significant others in our lives, co-workers, people that we know that are good friends, or perhaps acquaintances. We have affection for them at one level or another. Jesus is talking about a higher level love. He's not talking about love the way we human beings understand love, the love between a husband and a wife, the love between parents and children, the love between grandparents and grandchildren. That's a wonderful love and a special love, but Jesus is talking about an even higher level love. He says, love one another as I love you. It's in the present tense as I love you. It's a, it's a call to love in a God-like way. It's a call for us to love without condition. It is a call to love without limit. It is a call to love all the time, every time, without exception. And that's why it's so difficult, because as human beings, we have other feelings that creep into relationships as well. Love means forgiving once in a while when someone has wronged us. Love means being patient with someone when perhaps they're not performing or doing something the way we'd like or they're taking a little too long to do that. Love means being generous, not just doling out certain favors from time to time, but being lavish with our love and with our favors, because that's the way God is. God is so extraordinary in the way he loves us. He created us out of love. We have to remember that. God does not need, but out of love, God created us. Out of love, God sent us the greatest gift we ever knew, which is his son, Jesus Christ. Out of love, his son allows himself to be sacrificed on the cross so that our sins and the sins of all the world for all time can be forgiven. Out of love, God raises his son Jesus from the dead. And out of love, one day we pray that he will raise us, who are also his sons and daughters, from the dead. So when he asks us to love as he loves us, it's a difficult task. It's not just when we feel like it. It's not just when it's easy. It's not just when we're having a good day. And that's why we have to work at it every single day. The old movie, Love Story, had one of the worst lines I've ever heard. Love means never having to say you're sorry. Well, anyone that's married out there watching this mass right now will know that's not quite correct. Love means always being ready to say, I'm sorry, always being ready to make up, always being ready to make things right again and not let them fester. Love means not taking revenge or getting even with someone. Love means treating another person exactly the way 
you would have them treat you. And God tells us that we have to do this all the time. So today when Jesus tells us that God loves us and that he loves us, he wants us to pass that love around in a godlike way. And if we do so, then we're certainly following the great commandment, aren't we? And what is that great commandment? You will love the Lord your God with your whole heart, your whole soul, your whole mind, your whole strength, and you will love your neighbor as you love yourself. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us now place our needs and petitions before God, responding, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Cardinal Dolan, and all of our bishops, and all those who hold and teach the Catholic faith that comes down to us from the apostles. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray this day for all of our brothers and sisters who are living in areas without religious freedom, for those who are persecuted, even martyred because of their faith in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in our world who are suffering mental or medical illness or financial hardship from the coronavirus, that they may feel the loving and healing presence of Jesus in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocation to the priesthood, religious life, and diaconate, and for a generous and wholehearted response on behalf of those who have been called to these special ministries, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For strength for our uniform men and women who serve both at home and abroad, and in a special way for our first responders, health care workers, hospital and nursing home personnel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our family members and fellow parishioners who are sick or suffering in mind, body, or spirit, that they may receive healing and strength, remember especially Tina Heim, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our deceased loved ones and neighbors, that they may follow Jesus into eternal life, remember in a special way Kelly Mazzarella and also Richard Vokes, and all those whose names have been placed on our altar during this week, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you know our needs even before we express them in words. We ask you now to hear our prayers, and if it be your will, to grant them to Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, a work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. My brothers and sisters, let us pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accept in the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest 
the altar, and the Lamb of Sacrifice. Therefore, overcome a paschal joy. Every land of a people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Aidan, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. Let us pause now to offer a gesture of peace to all those that may be watching this Mass together at home. Lamb of God, you take where the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take where the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. A prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth and charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord be with you. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. May he, you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. Almighty God bless you always, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. A prayer to the Virgin Mary for protection. O Mary, you shine continuously on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick. At the foot of the cross, you participated in Jesus' pain with steadfast faith. You, Our Lady of New York, know what we need. We are certain that you will provide so that as you did at Cana of Galilee, joy and feasting might return after this moment of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the Father's will and to do what Jesus did our sufferings upon himself and bore our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We seek refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas. We are put to the danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. May God give you a peaceful and safe and happy day.